It's time for our daily devotion, daily daily of abiding in Jesus Christ. In the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. A daily devotional ministry project of Christo Gojino Gaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. June 17, 2020 Acts 3 verse 19 Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy Repentance includes sorrow for sin and a turning away from it. We shall not renounce sin unless we see its sinfulness, until we turn away from it in heart, there will be no real change in the life. There are many who fail to understand the true nature of repentance. Multitudes sorrow that they have sinned and even make an outward reformation because they fear that their wrongdoing will bring suffering upon themselves. But this is not repentance in the Bible sense. They lament the suffering rather than the sin. Such was the grief of Esau when he saw that the birthright was lost to him forever. Balaam, terrified by the angel standing in his pathway with drawn sword, acknowledged his guilt lest he should lose his life, but there was no genuine repentance for sin, no conversion of purpose, no abhorrence of evil. Judas Iscariot, after betraying his Lord, exclaimed, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood, Matthew 27 verse 4. These all lamented the results of sin, but did not sorrow for the sin itself. But when the heart yields to the influence of the Spirit of God, the conscience will be quickened, and the sinner will discern something of the depth and sacredness of God's holy law, the foundation of his government in heaven and on earth. Conviction takes hold upon the mind and heart. The sinner has a sense of the righteousness of Jehovah and feels the terror of appearing, in his own guilt and uncleanness, before the searcher of hearts. He sees the love of God, the beauty of holiness, the joy of purity, he longs to be cleansed and to be restored to communion with heaven. By Ellen G. White, Steps to Christ, pages 23 to 24. Prayer for today. Dear God, our Father in heaven, it is with profound humility that we approach your divine presence because you are our creator and more importantly, you are our loving Father. We cannot comprehend your love for us by sending your only begotten Son in this sinful earth and was made flesh and became one with us. Today, help us to experience true repentance and experience forgiveness as we acknowledge and confess our sins to Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Thank you. Father for answering our prayer because we ask in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.